Hey guys, it's Ali. Welcome to the channel. Here we are in beautiful Bucerias. If you're wondering what Bucerias is like to visit, it's a very cute, quaint little Mexican town that's basically like a mini Puerto Vallarta. It's a little easier to get around, a little less overwhelming. All of the quintessential Mexican charm, colorful buildings. Very, very safe here. You can walk around by yourself. If you love vacations where you can just walk as far as the eye can see, if you love traveling to destinations where you can just walk and walk and walk every day for miles, Bucerias is definitely that spot. There are so many places where you can walk every morning, get your steps in, or you can walk from beach bar to beach bar or happy hour to happy hour. Bucerias is one of the best places in this region where you can just walk and see where the day takes you. Look at all these beautiful bougainvillea flowers. It's so lush. This is what we call the yellow brick road. We're walking from Bucerias into Nuevo Vallarta. So there's the Rio, the white building that looks like a castle. If you are staying at any of the resorts in Nuevo Vallarta, like the Rio or the Cristal, it'll take you about 20 minutes to walk on the path into Bucerias. The other best part about Bucerias is that the beach is huge. It goes for miles. It's really wide and the sand is actually really nice here. You get pockets of super soft sand, but you can go out into the water at least 20 feet. There are a lot of waves, but they're nothing too, too crazy. And we're here in February. It's high tourism season and there's nobody on the beach. So here we are walking the beach again at sunset. It is so nice to walk the beach, have a cerveza, and just enjoy the sounds of the ocean and the soft sand under your feet. I just finished my massage on the beach. It was one hour of pure bliss. It was 400 pesos for an hour massage and you can get either soft pressure, medium pressure, therapeutic, deep tissue. It's all the same price. And there's little booths everywhere. You can see the one that I went to. They're scattered all over the beach. One of the best things to do in Bucerias is to go for a horseback ride on the beach and we're doing it at sunset. One of the number one things to do here in Bucerias is to watch the sunset. I think there's at least five or six miles of beach here and you just watch the sunset over a Banderas Bay. Everyone starts to gather at about six o'clock, at least at this time of year. And you just sit here for about 30 to 40 minutes and watch the sunset over the water. You can't do anything else at six o'clock in Bucerias other than watch the sunset. It's what you do. So you can come to Bucerias and find really great high quality restaurants. What we've noticed about this trip to Bucerias compared to three years ago when we were here is that it is a lot more pet friendly. We've run into so many people that have dogs and there's a lot more restaurants that allow dogs too. One of our favorites is La Postel, very pet friendly.
Here we are in Buceria Centro. This is where all the action is, where all the locals hang out. Here you'll find the market, tons of cafes, awesome restaurants. It is so lively and colorful during the day. And then at night, it comes alive again with music and all kinds of street vendors. You can get street tacos, churros, all kinds of fun stuff. So I do recommend visiting during the day and at nighttime as well. So we've got plantains and sweet potato and it's sweetened condensed milk on top. It's a pretty fun little dessert. As far as places to stay in Bucerias, I have a few really good options for you. It really depends what kind of vibe you're looking for. In Bucerias, there's a lot of great condos with beautiful rooftop pools, or you can stay in something a little more quiet and private, like where we're staying. It is right on the beach. We have our own pool, and there's only four suites here, so we really only share it with a few guests. We found this hidden gem on Booking.com. One of our other favorite places to stay here in Bucerias is Perla del Mar. It's not very big, so it's always quiet. The courtyard has a pool area and it's nice and shady. If you want to find a suite to rent, just check VRBO. In Bucerias, there is only one all-inclusive resort and that is the Royal de Cameron. Families love it. There's lots to do for anyone of any age. I always recommend people stay at the Royal de Cameron if they like the all-inclusive vibe but want to get a bit of an authentic Mexican town feel. At any time, you can wander off the resort and find amazing restaurants. You can find cheap street tacos. You can walk to the markets. You can walk to great beach bars. It's a really good option if you're used to the all-inclusive feel but want to branch out a little bit. When you come to Bucerias, you'll notice that a lot of people have been here multiple times before and they just keep coming back. It's a really good carefree vibe here in Bucerias. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and check out all my other videos about Mexico and the entire Puerto Vallarta area.